definitely a lot of like uh, uh, talking to them, like um, getting them confident in themselves because, you know, when we do have those times and instances where in the first half we're not really awake and alive and we're not uh, being aggressive and stuff. It's I kind of I kind of tell them that hey you got you got to lock in right now you you gotta you gotta show me why you want to be out here and being honest we we need to we ha- we should be winning right now or like we should be beating them by more points you know and some other ways is um I I like to sometimes I like to like make bets with them like hey you know if you do this I'll do that type of thing you know just just kind of bring some fun into it and and obviously just go ha- let's let's go have some fun but first let's take it serious but have some fun at the same time motivation uh because a lot being honest lately we uh sometimes during the week you know we're not we're not locked in i've said that a lot but it's true um we're we're going over here doing this type of stuff we're we're being funny when we shouldn't be or not listening and it, you know it, that that's that's the moment where you got to be hard on them. Uh, I'm not really being hard, but just kind of telling them, hey, you got to quit the funny business. You you, it's it's time to focus up because if you do this during practice, what's going to happen during a game type of situation? And it, sometimes it shows. And then I'll tell them, hey, you know, you did that during practice. What what else can you expect? And 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 a lot of times they they take my what I say to them to heart and they they do it they they go out there they perform they they block they they run as hard as they can going forward and another thing is uh, basically just keep on reminding them that to do your part and like your part could be just getting a block for like I'd say six seconds do your part to the best of your ability and uh, it, it's gonna show I mean. Every run, every good running back had great blockers. Every good quarterback had great blockers. It's not just him. It's it's who's preventing someone from tackling them. So, my main thing is do your part and do it to the best of your ability. And your part could be going up to the weight room at seven when we when you're supposed to be there and working your butt off. And then you do get your chance in the game and you do great. You help the team. That that's your part. And that that's what I would say would be the main thing uh, that's basically keeping us together and making us mesh is that we know that we need to do our parts to the best of our abilities to be a great team. And like I said, uh, a good team is everyone's working together for one end goal. And that goal for that day could be the win the game. And so do your part. And if you don't, do, if you do your part, it's not your fault. Reminding them every day that who we're playing and that basically this is a game to make a statement, if if that's the word for it. And it is the word for it, actually, but it, it, to make a statement. Um, let's show everybody who we are and who's going into the playoffs, what Erie County is. And other, like other things, this week is, it's a good week to lock in, starting now, like practice today. Uh, we need to go through the everything at 180 percent just full-on speed so that we when we get to the game we're ready you know we're watch film learn and one of the things that we're, we've been struggling on is um passing and one thing that very best does a lot is they pass so that's another thing this week is that i want to keep reminding these boys is that we need to get our passes down we need to get our, our coverage down and like and a good way to do that is pr- practice it every day and we're going to practice it today but do it 180%. Never let that receiver behind you. You know, make these small goals for these practices that you want to achieve or try to achieve. And if you don't achieve it, achieve it the next day and give you one more. Stuff like that is is going to help, is going to win the game for us. Because we're, we're mentally locked in, we're ready, we're, we're not messing around. We're there to win. And you'll see that this coming Friday. The the Aaron County Hornets are not there to play football. They're there to win, as a team, and to basically make a statement to the uh, not just the very best Eagles, but all of the one A and six A teams that we're ready. We try our best to adjust to our mistakes. Everybody everybody makes mistakes, and for us this season, I feel like in the beginning. We're just getting a feel for 
how the game is going because every team runs plays different. Like some guys cut harder than others. Like you just gotta play off the play of their team, and we get we get our feel at the at the half. Well, as a team, we know what our strengths and what our weaknesses are, and we know like as long we always try to communicate during practice, after practice, and just see like how how I thought it went. Because we, we've been working really hard on our coverage recently, and we talk about, and we're like, whenever we're in formations, we talk about it, and like Posey will switch uh, from a zone to a man sometimes, and we just go off of that. And we, we try to like see what the other team is doing, and we communicate, like if the spread back is too far back, than than they were on film, we adjust to it and we talk about it, and that's that's where I think our we've really came together in that sense. As like as a leader and everybody on our team, I don't think wants to like count anybody out ever, uh, because that that's where you end up losing. So we go in every week with the same mentality of we're gonna like it's a battle every time, whether whether it's gonna be or not. We so we want to be prepared rather than uh, underprepared. And if we go out at practice with that mentality and we're gonna hit, we're gonna, we're gonna do the little things right and we're gonna get after it because we have to. So like right before uh, games, we'll get a prayer in and we'll like clap it up and then we'll like bring each other up like, hey, we got to work on the, or we got to make sure we do this. And then like, we always just like try to bring each other up, like during the whole locker room. Like even when we like starting to get changed, we'll like bring each other up and saying like, we got this. And like, our, like everything will be like perfect and clean tonight. And it'll just be like perfect throughout the whole game. All right, so like we have like a football group chat and like, one of the main ones is Posey, but we'll, like, a few of us will, like, make, like, a group text almost every day saying on how we'll have, like, a like a really clean practice, or, like, a really clean game. And, like, at school, we'll just, like, be like, yeah, we got this. And, like, we just bring each other up, like, all day long at school and through text. So at practice, me, Posey, and, like, all the other captains, like, Keegan, Tyler, Wyatt, will be, like... If we're like doing like defense or offense, we'll tell each other like, hey, we gotta block it like this or block it like that. Or we gotta run the ball on the inside or the outside. And like when we do defense, we'll like say what coverage we're in and say like who's got who and when we need to like come up when like on a certain play, if they're in like a certain formation we would like adjust to it and then like tell each other on the field and off the field. Um, really as a captain, when we go in at half, we know that um, when we come out, we're a completely different team. We play better, we read our keys, we do everything right. And so as a captain going in to the locker room, I just have to keep my guys mentally focused and remind them that Yes, we made some mistakes. Yes, we may not have been playing. We may not have been making tackles. But when we come out at half, we're a completely different team, and this is where we shine, and this is where we play. I say as a captain, the most important job for us is to just keep the team chemistry there. Um, I know other guys have talked about group texts. We're always talking. We're always sending each other funny videos. If we see something inspirational, we'll send it. If we have something on our mind that's like, hey, I've been seeing this. Let's be aware of this. Um, we, we, we let each other know and then as well as just about the game we, we're always building each other up as a team and letting each other know the right things we did and, and we critique ourselves too we, we say what we should have done but I think chemistry there and is like other guys talked about communication is key and uh, building up everyone practice, weights just being the best we can uh, we just have to realize that it's another game. Uh, we can't take it lightly. We can't get too excited about it. We just have to realize it's another game. We need to come out and do what we do. And uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be a big game. And it's going to be a, a big day for everyone in Merchant. Uh, hopefully, we can come back with the back-to-back -back district champs. And uh, we are for sure going to be doing everything in our power to um, earn that title. 
and we all know what's at stake, and we're coming for it. Come down to the Wolfenbarger Field on Friday at 7.30 to watch the Erin County Hornets pound the very best Falcons. Let's go Hornets! It's time to wreck their nest. Lions back in town, and we're going to destroy the Falcons this week. Let's go Hornets! All right, Hornets, come out. Watch us hit somebody. Uh, game on the line in the fourth. Running up and down the court. I kill him, I do it for sport. Crunch time when it's crunch time. I'm always going to put in the work. You just keep coming up short. But somebody got to get hurt. Crunch time when it's crunch time. Ooh, it's all about us in the end now. I ain't not here making friends now. Hit them, hit them with a turnaround if they wanna see how it pans out. I'm just trying to be a champion, trying to leave behind a legacy. MVPs in the ambience, but they champ for me. I'm always gonna put in the work. I'm just trying to be a champion. I'm always gonna put in the work. MVPs in the ambience, I'm always gonna put in the work. I'm just trying to be a champion. I'm always gonna put in the work. MVPs if they champ. Gonna put in the work. I'm just trying to be a champion. Touchdown!